Okay. It's XCOM. The UFO defense. Indeed. When we last left off, we completed a terror mission in Los Angeles. But now we have some recruits we gotta rename. And as you see, we have quite a few wounded soldiers here. And I believe we've left off with fresh meat number 22. Yes, I do remember my numbers. Also, I've been forgetting to rename some of these guys as well. But we gotta go with fresh meat number 23 for Boris. Even though Boris is a cool name, it still has to be fresh meat. I'm sorry, it's not quite cool enough to get a separate name. And Chicken Nugget was a jerk in our last segment there. More importantly, Otto Kraus. I don't even know. 24. There. And we had some promotions. Yes, Fresh Meat 16 as a sergeant now. After a wonderful display in that terror mission. So I was giving even more suggestions. Like soda brands. But I might get copyright infringement. So we'll have to call him. Let's see. Professor Salt. Prof Salt. Actually, I'm not sure it's him or her. I need to double check on that sometime. Frank Sharp was also pretty sharp in that adventure. And Fresh Meat 19 shall be renamed Fresh Fruit. Hmm, what's a fresh fruit? An apple, yes. Let's call him. or her. Applelicious. Yes, there we go. No. That sounded wrong. And Rudy Richter shall be first meet number 25. Because after all, after 24 comes 25. So yes, we're looking pretty good here, so we have to do some more exploring. And we're still building another laboratory so we can increase our research rate. And we're still making more laser rifles. Well, we should also make a few more other things. Hmm, we're doing good on medikits. Motion scanners proved out to be a pretty much a failure. And that takes Illyrium. I want to save Illyrium, though. So we're just going to have him add a few more laser rifles until we can research something greater, like plasma weapons. That would be smart. What would be else smart is Maybe finding out where the aliens are going to strike next. That was my big question. But research is completed. Alien alloys. Awesome. This also makes way for personal armor. That is a excellent project to research. Your soldiers might actually be able to take a hit. Oh yes, we have a Reaper terrorist captured? Hmm. Oh, more like a Reaper Terrace corpse. Anyway, more importantly, personal armor. But I also promised I'd get that Sectoy soldier out of the way. Yes, that was a request. Requests come first. And alloys. These are very useful to produce. And they're very cheap. So you can make more alloys. Sell them for a somewhat of a profit. And make a lot of stuff out of them. Yes, indeed. So let's stop production of laser rifles now. And have our engineers make more alloys. All the rest of us. Do a little bit of scanning. Where could those UFOs be? Is there another place they could be besides Southern Africa? Hmm. Especially if you're playing football. You want to intercept your opponent. Well, if they have a chance to make a touchdown or a field goal. 
but more importantly, this is a sectoid. He's naked. <laughs> more importantly, this talks about Pisonic, Psionic, Pisonic. How do you say that? How do you say that? But they're hive like, so, hmm. They may not be the leaders of this alien invasion. But now we can figure out where the heck all these things came from. Yes, plot progression. But also, I need Illyrium 115 researched. So I can find out what it does. And maybe make some stuff with it. More importantly, interceptions. My radars found nothing. Also, you can use the UFOpedia and recheck your various items that you have researched. Eventually, we will be researching stuff, more, even more stuff. Researching gives you points. That can actually help you out when you can't find any UFOs to ransack. See, my score is running about even. Maybe a little higher. I may have missed a UFO somewhere. Somewhere in Southern Africa. Hmm. And we'll be right back, hopefully, with another UFO. Or more research.